Hey guys, Ember Heart here coming to you with another video. I've been on a three year hiatus and basically I've been in and out of the hospital. Sadly, I haven't been able to film my drawings, but I do have some that will be featured at the end of this video. I'm going to be doing some story times from now on if you guys like it. If you don't, then we'll find out later on. So, let's begin! This story is about a teacher who wanted to suspend me. It started freshman year of high school. We all were to meet our advisory teachers. For those who don't know what advisory is, it's basically like a study hall. Anyway, Miss T, not her real name by the way, came up with a project. Take your name, so in this case, Amber, and then take the first letter, so A, and then associate that with a word that describes me. So at the time, I was shy and I wanted to kind of not socialize really. So I wanted to be anonymous. So I was like, you know what? Anonymous Amber. It works. And I was happy with it. She rolled her eyes and was like, ugh, you know how those teachers are. And then she's like, you know what? Let's do another project. So uh, we then uh, were to say if we liked to read or not. And if we did like to read, what is something that we like to read, like our favorite book? I personally was a Twilight fan at the time. And she rolled her eyes when it came to me eventually. And she was like, why don't you like something that better represents you as a child or a teen? And I looked at her like, what? She's like Judy Bloom. I love Judy Bloom personally, but it's just not at the time. I didn't feel like it represented me. So basically, we ended up moving on and she was like well wait she's she growled and she's like typical that's why I won't have kids and you don't say that to a person especially someone who actually likes kids she did that because she doesn't like the representation of teens nowadays so basically I had to go through that and I just was quiet for the rest of the year. And then, sorry, I have to move my notes. Sophomore year, a chair fell on my foot. So when the chair fell on my foot, I missed a lot of classes. When missing a lot of classes, I ended up missing some assignments. And I couldn't stay after school for these assignments at the time because I was to go home straight away after school because I needed to ice my foot and so on and so forth. So I ended up getting an F on my report card. And Miss T, because she was our advisory teacher, she had our report cards and she, instead of of when it was time to give me my report card she's literally sets mine there and points she's like what's that and I'm like um my report card and uh, she's like no the letter and I'm like can we talk outside and she's like no we'll talk here and basically ended up embarrassing me I was mad and I ended up crying and luckily there was a nice girl in my next class so I had snatched my report card and went to my next class and basically the girl was like I heard what happened you know from her friends who were in my advisory and she's like she shouldn't have done that and I'm like I know she's like you should report her and I'm like I can't so I tried to get a new advisory teacher, which didn't happen, sadly. 
So I went on to the next year and junior year I was in the same advisory class and basically the teacher had to do a a assignment where you have to do the speeches of the suicide awareness speaking of which if you need help please 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 contact someone let a therapist know or a parent or call the suicide hotline anyway basically there was a rise in teen suicide so she basically you know wanted to talk to everyone and say hey if you uh, need help please talk to me and then she looked at me she's like even if you hate me and I just was infuriated because how can you look at someone and I didn't hate her I I dislike her now and I am kind of angry at her now but I didn't hate her at the time so that happened and we went on to the next year without instant luckily so my senior year i was suffering with blood pressure issues and being sick all the time i also was in a car accident so with that happening i was not feeling the greatest that day in question and I basically went into school saw Miss T I almost said her real name that wouldn't have been good and basically I went to my class I was starting to feel really faint and I you know asked for the pass and went down to the nurse after MCAS tutoring and basically after I went to the nurse I had my blood pressure taken and I was rushed to the hospital yeah that that was a story in itself anyway um basically what ended up happening is that was on a Friday I'll just say and then on Monday when we come back to school, I, you know, got called to the office. And my vice principal's like, Amber, come see me. So I'm like, oh, okay. And I did. And she's like, so where were you on Friday at this time? And I'm like, I was at my MCAS testing. I mean, not testing, tutoring, and basically on the lines of I was starting to feel faint, so I went down to the nurse, and she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, she's like, hold on a sec, please, and so she called the nurse, talked to her for a while, and she ended up, you know, talking to her for a while, and then hung up and said, I thought that wasn't you. She's like, Miss T wrote you up to have you suspended. And I'm like, what? Why? She's like, she thought you were skipping her class. And I'm like, no, I was not. I literally went to the hospital. And she's like, I'm sorry. I, I hope that you feel better and hope you be better. And... Basically, from then on out, I got dirty looks from my advisor, and she just hated my guts, and I'm so glad I'm not in high school anymore, because I could not handle that. Um, basically, if you like this story time, let me know by doing a thumbs up, comment, and... If you like to hear more stories, subscribe. And if you want to get notifications of when I next upload, please.
please hit the bell icon, because that's a new thing. All right, um, bye.